Alright guys, I'm getting some uh, wood prepped for the rocket stove. A lot of my wood is wet, so what I'm doing this morning is I'm just batoning some and um, putting it out to dry. And so by doing this, I'm exposing the inside of the wood, let this dry out for a few hours, and then later on today when we get ready to cook our meal, We'll have some dry wood and some wood to put into the rocket stove. So that's what I've been doing this morning. I accumulated a whole nice little box of it. And so we're getting ready to do our All right, guys, Anthony here. I just wanted to set the stove tech stove up to show you what it's going to look like uh, before I get it started. i got the cast iron skillet sitting on the top. I've been batoning some wood uh, this morning with my Glock knife. One of the problems is a lot of my wood is wet. So I'm batoning some and hoping to let it dry out next couple hours uh, before I start this uh, meal prep. I just wanted to get you guys uh, a quick view of the Stove Tech Rocket Stove. Here's what I put together for wood, which should be more than enough uh, for just cooking a couple things. Got a little recycle bin full of wood. Uh, I batoned it all with my Glock knife. And I found this little cushion thing at work that somebody was throwing out. Uh, it's just a piece of cushion um, covered with a little teddy bear things and it's really been saving my knees this morning and uh, so there's my wood there's my stove there's my cast iron pan and there's a top view of the rocket stove ready to go ready to be lit and we'll be back hey YouTube Anthony here you can see here we got our rocket stove by Stove Tech and tonight we're going to do some cooking in it, but since it's the first time I lit it, light it and lighting it, I want to just see how it burns and how uh, much it takes to get started. So I skimmed off a bunch of feather sticks uh, with my Glock knife, put them inside the stove. You can look in here. I put some dryer lint in the top, some at the bottom with a piece of paper towel, and I'm going to attempt to light those small pieces of wood. Um, and then get the stove going. So let's see, I got the bottom door open for the most amount of oxygen. And uh, let's light here and light at the top. Let's see how this baby gets started. That's just some dryer lint some small shavings of wood and then we'll put our longer sticks in once that uh, once those catch you get a good shot at the top now you can see the some of the smaller sticks catching Yeah, it's caught very, very easy. Okay, what I'm going to do once I think that's caught, I'll get a couple of small sticks and I'll just push them through just like this. And again, those stay on the rest here. And as they burn, you just push them in. I think we got ourselves a rocket stove that's going and um, we're going to prepare a couple things to eat tonight in our new uh, cast iron skillet. Uh, nothing, nothing extravagant, just want to test out how the stove works and get used to using it. So okay guys, I've been tending this fire for about 10 minutes now. Just want to give you a look inside. We're preparing, this is backyard survival series. so we're preparing the food. My wife's getting it ready inside. Pretty soon we'll be able to put on the skillet. And um, I think this is going good enough now where we could um, get ready to preheat the skillet and put it on. That's the rocket stove.
Okay guys, See we're going to put works. a little bit of water into our uh, skillet that we have preheating on the stove here uh, just to see if we can get a rolling how hot it is. I think that's about ready. And we're going to put our hash browns on. We'll be making hash browns and scrambled eggs. So first we're going to put in our onions which we have prepared here. Put those in. Too bad you can't smell this YouTube, but it smells excellent. Also keep a good heavy duty mitt or towel next to this because your, your cast iron uh, pans or pots will heat up really hot. You don't want to burn yourself. And then also you want to keep checking your fire to make sure you keep pushing your wood in. I'm going to actually lift this up just to see how the fire is doing. There's a good view right there. Our fire is going nice and steady. It's retaining the heat. And we're cooking a meal. This stove is really looks bulletproof to me, guys. Uh, very, very good way to cook outside. Alright, guys, we're back. We let our onions just soften up a little bit. And now we have our organic hash browns. We're going to get ready to put in. Yeah. Let's start putting those in. We'll be back. All right, guys, we're here. I've been messing around with the bottom door. I just closed it a little bit. As you can see, it just lets the fire regu helps regulate the flame. Mm. Um, our potatoes have about a four more minutes on this side. Then I'm going to flip them. So they're sitting and they're cooking good. Um, it's hot out tonight. Why, we, why do we do this backyard survival? Why are we doing all this? Why are we investing in a rocket stove when we have a, you know, a regular barbecue grill? Well, in a long-term SHTF situation, God forbid a civil unrest or economic collapse, you want to make sure that you have the proper preps, something like the rocket stove that's reliable, it's sturdy, it's strong, and it's going to be able to help you and your family get through a rough time cooking your uh, stuff that you've prepared, your food, your food stores. So investing in good gear is one of my top priorities. I make sure that I have good gear and I make sure that it works ahead of time so that when the time comes and I do need it for a survival type situation, I know how to use it, I know how to start it, I know about how much wood I need. You know, you know all these things by doing. So that's why we're sitting in the backyard this weekend and testing out various gear. And incidentally, you guys can't smell this, but I want to eat this half cooked already. That's how good it smells. One good thing I noticed, we're not giving off a lot of smoke at all, as you can see. There's no smoke going over my house into the neighbor's yard. This is very localized type of cooking. So you really can't, you don't really even know I'm cooking anything in my backyard, unless you were standing right here actually smelled it. So we'll be back in a few minutes when these potatoes are ready. Alright guys, we're back. It's been 12 minutes. Our hash browns are ready. We're going to get ready to take them out and put them in our, our clean dish. And then we're going to scramble up some eggs. But before we put the eggs in, we're going to put some butter in the pan around the edges, let it sit, and then put our eggs in, scramble our eggs, and then get our meal together. So let's take these out. They look good. They smell good. Just like a good hometown restaurant. It smells like a morning breakfast time. Let's 
get a shot of our fire. Looks like it's going a little too strong. I'm going to lower this door a little bit. That should bring it down. We're going to get our butter. Spread our butter around. Now I'm making Giada jealous over here. What cooking shows on TV show this kind of stuff? <laughs> Nobody. This is what people want to see. Got our eggs ready. I got four scrambled eggs going in. And patience is the key with your eggs. We don't want to rush it. Take our hash browns, put them aside. Get our spatula for our eggs. Push our wood in. Just get another piece ready. really digging cooking on this uh, cast iron and now I've got to get used to it but uh, it's really going to be a good way to cook and prep meals especially out in the field or in the yard like this you know just because this is a rocket stove and maybe for survival you could you could put a meal on for company that are coming over the house just as easy as you could put stuff on the grill you know, put a griddle on here, get some hamburgers and hot dogs going, you got your wood going, your fire, um, you're good to go. Another minute or two, these eggs will be done. And I will be eating, because I am a hungry. I'm going to put the eggs right into the hash browns. Got our hash browns on one side, and we'll have our eggs on the other. And I think these are done. Spoon them out. The sad thing is I have to share this stuff. That's okay, I like sharing. Wow, we're getting some real good heat from this fire. Here we go, guys. We're going to cut back, and I'm going to be here and give this a taste test. All right, guys, right this is Rocket Man, my new name. Back, stove still going, my meal is cooked. I'm going to serve myself up some delicious potatoes, some scrambled eggs. I got some rye bread and butter. This is what I call backyard living, backyard survival. A little salt. And one last thing, giving thanks. We don't see a lot of people uh, giving thanks uh, these days. And that's one of the things we should all get used to doing. Give thanks to the good Lord for providing for each and every one of us. So pause with me for a moment while we say grace and we'll give this a taste. Hallelujah, Father. We thank you for this day. We thank you for your love, your guidance, your wisdom, everything you do for us, everything you provide for us. All things belong to you, Father, for you are in control of all things. We thank you for this food. We ask your blessings upon it. And it's in Jesus' mighty name I pray. Amen. Now for the taste test. 
grab me a piece of bread, a little potato, some scrambled egg. God, I sincerely wish that everyone from YouTube can be in my backyard right now sharing this meal with me. It's excellent. I learned a lot tonight cooking it. Rocket stove is highly recommended. my note to everyone else, get out there, continue prepping, keep your heads up, stay alert, stay active, and help your neighbor. Anthony signing off. Wow. Yeah.